Hey there guys, thanks for stopping by the video. Um, today we'll be going over some of the features and functions that Short URL Blaster does present to your internet marketing efforts. We'll also be applying some of the real life uses of Short URL Blaster to an existing campaign, talking about some ways that we can use it to scale and automate our efforts. And we'll also be going over a couple of the backend tricks and secrets that we personally found useful um, when marketing online. Uh, so without further ado, once we launch Short URL Blaster, your eyes will be drawn to the top left corner where you see the long link field. This is where we will actually input the affiliate link or domain link that we wish to create a series of redirects for. Um, you will also see below where you can actually mass import a series of links from a file. So if you have more than one link that you're wishing to create a series of redirects for, this would be especially beneficial to you. For this particular example, we'll be creating a series of redirect links for one particular affiliate marketing campaign for a pet product that we've set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in our domain name. You can also actually um, type in, you know, it doesn't have to be a particular domain. It can be a, a, a straight up affiliate link, a CPA link, um, whatever kind of link that you're wanting to create uh, URLs for, um, you can actually add that in here. I just wanted to make that a note for you. Um, now, what we're going to see here is the custom link field. Um, as you can see beneath here, some of these sites support custom URLs. Um, some of them don't. Short URL Blaster is smart enough to know how to handle this. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in our desired custom link. And we're going to go ahead and press add to list. Short URL Blaster will populate your list of URLs down here beneath. Now it hasn't created the links yet. This is simply for our own recognition. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to click on the settings button here. The first tab is error handling. Now this is how Short URL Blaster handles particular errors and you can actually also specify how you want it to, how you want it to put up with particular errors. Um, as you can see beneath here, we've already created two particular rules, um, but for your own example, we're going to go ahead and, uh, for example here, uh, error when creating a short link. How do you want Short URL Blaster to handle this? Do you want it to retry with a proxy? Do you want to add a random number to the end of the desired link? Do you want to skip it or do you want to do nothing? Now, I went ahead and created these two rules to add a random number because we don't want it to skip or retry with proxies. Um, the second tab here is the proxies tab. Uh, you can simply tick it if you wish to use proxies or untick it if you don't. Short URL Blaster handles both public and private proxies and also has support for username and password authenticated proxies. For this example, we're not going to use proxies because we're not creating more, too, too many links. Um, next tab, we're going to see the general settings. This is where you can specify how many links you wish to create per website. And beneath here, this is actually where we will be giving you all a script and um, some detailed backend instructions on how you can actually create your own, um, your own redirect domain. Um, we'll go into a little bit more about that in the backend training. Uh, once we've configured our settings, we simply exit. And we're actually ready to go now, guys. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press start. And beneath here, you'll see where it's actually creating all of our links for us. I also want to demonstrate the show log window here. This is where we can kind of see what's going on behind the scenes and how short URL Blaster is handling particular errors. As you can see, there was an error creating a short URL. It applied the rule and it created the link. Um, that's a perfect example of how the error handling is especially beneficial to us um, when creating several different multiple links for a particular affiliate product. And this is one thing I wanted to also talk about for a moment here. Um, when, and on our sale page, we mentioned um, how, how it's important to be like a chameleon whenever you're internet marketing. And I want to go into a little bit more in depth about that. Um, obviously, if you, for those of you that have, that have used this, the Blaster Suite software, um, you've used video marketing Blaster, you've been marketing on YouTube, you've been marketing on Facebook, um, you're even doing SEO po link posting with Scrapebox and what have you. Um, it's always extremely important to keep our links live. Um, obviously, we, the, reason, the reason we want to keep our links live is because whenever somebody clicks a dead link, that results in no benefit to us as a marketer. Once our links are done creating, you can then press the export button and you'll see that you can export your file as a CSV, a text file, or in spinning syntax. So we're going to go ahead and export as a text file and we press save. 
we name our file and that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our exported text file here. These are all the links that short URL Blaster has created for us. We're going to go ahead and just test a couple manually to see if they do work. As you can see, this, this uh, short URL is redirected to our pet affiliate product. All right. Now, for those of you that are marketing on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, even if you're doing link posting with Scrapebox, um, it's important to make sure that our links are live. We don't ever want a link to be uh, out there posted somewhere and whenever somebody clicks through to it, it goes to um, this link has been removed for spam. Obviously, because whenever somebody clicks a dead link, that results in no benefit to us as a marketer. Um, so one of the most beneficial uh, features that Short URL Blaster offers to your marketing campaigns is the ability to check links. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how that works now. Once you've created links or you've already began a campaign and you wish to check your links, just press the check links button here. It will pull up an additional dialog where you can import a list of links from a file. We're going to go ahead and check the list of links that we created just now. As you can see, it populates all the links in the text file for us and it actually has um, question marks here as because it hasn't began checking yet. Um, once we do this, we simply press the check links button. And as you can see, short URL Blaster goes through for us and actually automatically checks every single link to verify whether it's live or not. Once it's done, you can actually export all the valid links to a file um, where we can override our existing file or we can create a separate file. However, there's really not any use for uh, saving old dead links so we're going to go ahead and overwrite our file here and that's all there is to it guys um, now that we have our list of short URLs um, we're ready to begin marketing um, now whether you're marketing on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook as I mentioned before um, this is especially beneficial because it allows us to stay beneath the radar um, say for example we upload 50 videos to YouTube and we all we all directly link to um, toppetreviews.com. Say one of our postings or one of our videos gets banned and it has our URL in the field. Naturally, YouTube, Twitter, um, whatever site is automatically going to go through, it's going to find every single posting with this particular domain and remove it. Um, this, is, this is very, very bad for an internet marketer. Um, this is one of the reasons that we actually developed the software to begin with because we were having these troubles. Uh, and we wanted to stay beneath the radar. We wanted to have a completely diverse portfolio of links to be posting everywhere. Um, so for example, um, you're uploading a YouTube video and you post this link, they're not going to go through and they're not going to be able to see you know, every single one of these links on every single you know, profile um, because they're all unique. There's no footprint or common ground for them to be able to assimilate multiple accounts. They're going to see multiple different diverse domains um, through commonly used um, redirect services such as tinyurl um, and it's going to give you a competitive edge over your uh, competitors posting their direct links because it allows you the ability to blend in, stay beneath the radar, and not raise any flags, which keeps your links live longer, keeps your marketing campaign stronger, and also gives you more of a utility feature um, that you can apply towards any of your internet marketing campaigns, whether it be YouTube marketing, Twitter marketing, or whatever it is that you're using. Um, Short URL Blaster can bring benefit to the table by providing you the ability to create diverse links um, and also the ability to check links on demand to verify that they are live and not dead. Uh, so that's it guys. I just wanted to give you a basic demonstration of Short URL Blaster and talk about some of the practical uses that you can use to apply towards your marketing campaigns. Um, so I wanted to say thank you for viewing the video. Um, in the future we will be adding multiple different short URL domains and availability. Uh, in the back end we will also be giving you some training on how to set up your own redirect domain um, like I mentioned earlier here. 
Um, so I wanted to say thank you very much for viewing the video, guys. Um, good luck with your marketing campaigns, and we hope to hear from you soon.